Welcome back. This is Business Center and today we are talking about cabbages. But let me read you uh, some of our uh, replies to the question of the day today where we had asked you how long does it take for cabbage head to form? And we have um, someone saying, hey Kevin, the answer is two weeks. It's Naomi from Nakuru. Thank you so much, Naomi. And then we have Anson is four weeks. It's Mbuthia from Nai. Thank you so much, Mbuthia. Now we'll, we are going to go through the innovations and then we'll read some of your comments as we continue along. Now, vegetable growers face a variety of challenges, including pest and diseases, labor shortages, and climate change. Today on Innovations, we are going to look at how can technological innovations be incorporated into traditional farming to improve production practices. Now, surveys for disease pest scouting and to assess plant stress are expensive, labor-intensive and time-consuming. Since labor shortage is a major issue in vegetable production, small unnamed aerial vehicles, UAVs, equipped with various sensors, remote sensing, can simplify surveying procedures, reduce the labor cost, decrease data collection time, and produce critical and pr practical information. Recently, UAVs and remote sensing have allowed growers to constantly monitor crop health status, estimate plant water needs, and even detect diseases. Now, AgroView can pro process, analyze, and visualize data collected from UAVs and other aerial platforms. This technology utilizes machine learning, an application of artificial intelligence to detect single plants and assess plant size and stress. Now, most conventional sprayers apply agrochemicals uniformly, even though distribution of pests and diseases is typically patchy, resulting in waste of valuable compounds, increased costs, crop damage risk, pest resistance to chemicals, environmental pollution, and contamination of products. Contamination can be related to runover after application, discharge from drainage, and off target deposition of spray due to wind or spray drift. Now, this contamination can be significantly reduced through optimization of spraying technology. Spray drift of agrochemicals occurs during every application and accounts for a loss of up to 50% of agrochemical used. Minimizing the negative impacts of agrochemicals and spraying technologies is a major challenge, is a major global challenge. Now, our question of the day, let me read you some of the comments that we have. We have uh, some of the comments here, and people today have decided to, to, uh, to contribute to this. Now we have, hey Kevin, it's Chito from Githurai. I guess the answer is four to six weeks. And then we have Peter uh, from Naivasha saying, answer is six weeks weeks thank you so much continue contributing now we are going to go to our agri facts now whether you are enjoying an abundant cabbage harvest or just picking up those lovely green vegetables at your local market you can comfort you can take comfort knowing you are doing your body a favor cabbage is packed with nutrition as David told us, it's also getting a fascinating, rich history. Today on AgriFacts, we are going to be looking at those interesting facts. Now, we are going to look at the ancient roots where cabbages has been cultivated for longer than almost any other vegetable on record. Did you know this? Now, to be precise, more than 6,000 years. Those are very many years. Now, it originated in Shanxi province, China, sometimes about 4000 BC. Now also going to look at beauty promoter. Healthier hair, skin and nails are just some of the benefits of eating this leafy veggie on a regular basis. On a regular basis. Cabbages high have high sulfur content, translates to keratin production and the result of feeling good inside and out. Now we are also going to look at cancer deterrent. Eating cal calciferous veggies like cabbage can be scientifically proven to lower your risk of develop developing cancer. We're also going to be look at vitamin C importance. Now cabbage contains a high concentration of vitamin C. That means it cuts out toxins in your body, preventing skin disease, arthritis, and rheum rheumatism. Now go for red cabbage when you have vitamin C in mind. It contains double the content of regular green cabbage. Those are our, our agri facts for today. We are going to be looking at the answers for our question of today. We are going to be looking at, uh, someone has said here, 
Good show, Kevin. I've learned a lot from the episode today. The answer is eight weeks. I'm Georgina from Kabati. Thank you, Ma uh, thank you so much, Georgina from Kabati. Um, do we have any other comments? Uh, yes, we have uh, Peter Onaivasha says six weeks. We had read that one. Okay, now our answer is you can expect to see heads of approximately 71 days with green cabbage. Red cabbage takes slightly longer and Napa cabbage will form small heads in only 57 days. Cabbage head formation sometimes occurs better in the moist, gently warm conditions than in the cool days. Now you have your answers there, 71 days. Um, we've, we've gotten there, 71 days uh, for, for, for the one who Maybe sub you can can calculate that and then you see uh, which one is right. Thank you so much for contributing to our question of the day for the ones who contributed and for the one who we didn't get to read your comments. We'll read them next time. My name is Kelvin Yakundi and today we've been talking about cabbage farming and we had David Ndegwa who has really delved into this subject and he has made us know how as a farmer you can be able to cultivate this crop even in the urban or the rural areas. Uh, we are going going to be uh, concluding there and let's meet next week same time same place on agribusiness my name is kelvin yakundi and keep it metropole tv